Now we got a few bites under our belt, we can okay. settle in. Oh my gosh, dude, just absolutely Big hammered in. good. Big in. to the channel. I am so excited for y'all to be here. We just rolled up to the ramp. I say we, I've got a special guest with me today. You might have noticed a new tow vehicle. There's a lot of new things happening right now. Dangle merch dropping. And just go ahead and subscribe because this series is gonna be fun. So, right now, we're on a lake that's full of grass down here in South Texas and the fish are moving up. We have it on good authority. Let's get across the lake and start snatching some big ones. When I lost that big giant one on a frog last year, it was literally like right in here, little pocket, bed. Large. We're going right to it. We're going right to it. He's still there. <laughs> still there on the bed. Where are we, Trey? We're in South Texas, actually in South Texas, uh, south of I-10, which is South Texas. Choke Canyon Reservoir, one of my favorite lakes in the world. And it's loaded with grass and we are going to catch big giant basses. <laughs> Trey, I'm gonna let you do the honors on the trolling motor oh. program while I kind of formally introduce you. Oh. I can't remember if you've been on the channel. I think I, I think not. one time we fished Lake Austin and I don't know if I was filming or not. I can't remember, it's been so long. I remember the only thing you got on camera was me laughing at you when you were hung up in the reeds and I was pointing at you. Yeah, that's right. I think I caught right. like a six pounder on a top water. I think we might have got that on film, but. Ooh, that, ha that has to be on the internet somewhere. It is. Okay, all right, so Trey has been on, on the channel. A fellow Texan, uh, he's about my age. We both came up in the fishing industry about the same time. He is a, uh, a Texas Longhorn. I'm an Aggie, but we get along. He uh, went and worked for Shimano about the same time that I went and worked as a sales rep at Shimano. And anyway, we, uh, we ended up working together there, fished in college, college tournaments against each other in roundabout circles and whatnot, and have always you know, just known each other. And, and now, uh, proud to say, honored, Trey is our product manager at Guggen Squad. Um, so he's going to be working on, I mean, he's basically managing the chaos of all of these things that we were trying to develop for you guys. He doesn't uh, know how to turn on your fancy Garmin troll. <laughs> he does. Okay, there's a little button. I know, it's just, it's like a one clicky deal. It's on, is yours not like this? Have you not been I've on never a. never been on a Garmin oh, troll. Garmin? Well, this is, a, yeah, it's, it's, you got to press this little guy. Oh. Just one little tapper. Okay. She comes on, cool. and then you have to then engage. This is what I do not like about this. You got to then engage the power. Scroll up. Mm -hmm. You should get a little something here after a minute. There we go. Now it's primed. Now, yeah, and you guys can see the grass. 
what's going on in here. He also loves fish, and he knows his stuff. He's good at it, so it helps. It helps. We're we're building a, uh, a team of hardcore danglers. One of the last times I came down here, I caught one of the biggest, like one of my top five biggest fish. Uh, South Texas, known for a lot of big mesquite trees in the water, just thick, gnarly, nasty cover. Normally, in the, in the early spring, like January through February, fish are up pretty shallow. It's been kind of weird this year. Hasn't been as, as tasty. Uh, and we've had this cold weather and everything, but now fish are rushing towards the bank. We've been told on good authority. So, anyway, we loaded up. We're down here. I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the truck later. We gotta get into some fish first. I love these little stickies. These little stickies, man. If they're coming up here and doing their thing on the spawn, they love to get on that little hard root system and that stuff. So, what do we got? 3.6, beautiful. Jorts, killing the game. Some point during this day, we're gonna have a five plus pounder uh, picture hold with the jorts on. And I'm looking forward to that. You want to get yourself any of our um, awesome stuff we're going to be using here, you can use the code LFG at GuggenSquad.com. Pretty self-explanatory. Trey, I'd like to say good job on, uh, on the production of this Shimano Corrado K series. Um, yeah, I, uh, my baby. I think you did, I think you did pretty good. It's one of the few reels I can take 25 pound tests and just give it a yeah. good hard flinging. Just get, wow, just, you know, <laughs> oh no, huge. Kapooyow. <laughs> ah, such big fish, such big fish and such shallow water. It just gets me, gets me excited. First one. Getting captured. Look at the aggressiveness, the feistiness. The South Texas gumption. Boom. <laughs> That is just well, all. We were just saying, we just had to tuck into the back of something. All day fun. Yeah. The old uh, flashy swim with the the big booty saucy throwing up there in the shallow. We were just talking. We were like, man, maybe we just we need to go back here a little bit more. And uh, just a little slow roller over the grass and wabe! Be a lot more of that happening. I'm gonna say that's probably the average size. I hope that's a good average size, and we're gonna be popping the old uh, five ski here today. I'm gonna predict. Hopefully, coming away with a eight or nine. Get some fight on them. Giant gator. Is that a, are you serious? That's yes. a gator? Oh my <laughs> devils. <laughs> that is a, That's a creature. Dude, that, I will tell you guys, this lake, to this day, I fish Florida and all these other places, the biggest gators I have seen are in this lake. Look at this thing, guys. And the that's just a, that's probably the average size out here. I know, it's a, like 11 feet long. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Gosh, you just got Ooh. pummeled. Oh. On a frog right there, huge gator. Oh my gosh, guys, what a lake! These things eat hogs and deer all day, and they're they're rumored to eat crappie fishermen. Whoo! That was that was a scary blow up. So, uh, so Trey's throwing a frog. We just got our first bite on a frog. There's one. Oh no, little boy. Yeah, he gave me a little little boop boop. You were hung up right by that gator too. He just went he just sunk. Are you down serious? That bush, yep. <laughs> Dang it. I thought he was over there. No, it might have been another one. Another big one. Yeah, they probably are spawning because they if they're back in this little pond area. <laughs> they might be weary of me, but I am just I don't want anything to do with Well the one the one that was out here that was around 20 foot Elvis they had to put him down because he he flipped over a crappie boat he ate the uh, no he ate the minnow bucket off the side and pulled it and the fisherman fell out he was getting used to uh, people were like messing with him though like getting too close and yeah big lizards right here in this gut 
Should be something. Oh. Destroyed. Look at him, I can't get up to him. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Nice I'm telling pass. you. Like the same, that's like the same size. Did you see how many, we're talking about how they move laterally on you? Yeah. Like, that fish moved 20 feet. These fish are way more fired up than uh, yes. I'm used to right now. Oh. Light Texas rig. Quarter ounce. Quarter ounce, pegged, and you just, just your standard unit. Just reeler. We want to make a reeler worm. Yeah, we do. You think the folks at home want to make a reeler worm? I think they do. I think we're going to call it the reeler worm. The reeler worm. Oh! Oh my goodness! Gee, oh, take your. Yep. There we go. There we go, big boy. Doesn't it feel good to snatch a few faces early in the morning? It does. It really does. Uh, I'll be enough, these boys aren't peeing. Look at that yellowness. Now, this is what you get in South Texas. I don't know what it is, but they they get yellow. Yellow fins. Why isn't he peeing? He peeing. He's not excited to see you. Make him pee. And we've already caught more than we probably would catch in a full day. On like any of us that are within 30 minutes of our house. <laughs> you know, like, like I have already had a oh, banner shit. in North Texas Day. I've caught two fish. You know, two I mean, fish over two pounds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a little doobler. He came with authority. <laughs> Dude, I mean, he hit it so hard. <laughs> I mean, just like. You snatched him out of the water. So hard. So angry. Why are you so angry, young man? He's got, he got all that testosterone built up. These fish are fresh. I mean, they are I like, know. just moved up. Like. We're here at a good time, my friend. Yeah. Not all of it, but a lot of it got knocked back with that big storm. That stuff's probably down there decomposing and but yeah. Yeah, so a little good little doobler. He lost some shad fucking in here too. God, look just the fight. He's got leeches in his mouth. Do you think Crazy. he's hungry? That one was hungry. At a nice little cruising speed here. The wind hasn't got crazy yet, so we're probably gonna look back here in a few hours and really enjoy these moments. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of pockets going into this creek arm, mm -hmm. and it's looking like these fish wanna be in there. Little paquitos. They wanna be in those paquitos. <laughs> nice warm paquitos touching tails. It's been in the 60s at night here for like three or four nights and uh, they are running to the bank I'm I'm sure so let me go inside right here mm -hmm. inside play mm -hmm. don't hate it Bob oh Man. must have hit rocks you South Texas Lake oh Come on, add! Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Maybe. Oh my. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger. That's gonna. That's yeah. gonna. Oh yeah. Good, good old pipe ski. <laughs> oh yeah. That's... Here. Wow, that one has got some shoulders. Dude, the, oh, buddy. the fight. Come here. Yes. Mm. Is that your biggest bass of the year? Thus far, yeah. Yes. Little tasties. You want to pick? Yeah. Love the jorts. It's kind of my jorts call. are fantastic. Kind of my calling card. Mustache jorts. I think there's we're, more of that to come. We were talking about how rarely you actually like hit a lake when it's like the right, like when you hit it right. When it's juice. Yeah. yeah. Pretty excited that we're here when it's happening. Okay, first uh, first fish over five pounds came on a little point right there. Usually the females are just a little bit deeper, kind of waiting. They don't they don't move up and stay up nearly as long as the males. Most of these male bass are going to be just stacked in the back backs of these little creek pockets. 
And usually the females, you'll get them on something like a little outlier stump or something like this. It's got just a little bit of deeper water close by. And that was just textbook right off the end of a uh, lead in uh, point going into a pocket. So good job, my friend. That thing, when it pulled you under the boat, I was like, oh no, this could be, this could be what? like eight plus. Hit it like really close to the boat. So, right. I mean, they're a little bit, a little bit off, you know, but. That one was, yeah, theme. Um, that's where they should be, so. I'm oh man, it. that's fun. I'm into it. Oh. Come on with it. The old slow reel. Yeah, I wanted a little, a little creep. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably need to switch to the quarter ounce, actually. Yeah, maybe go back to that when the wind gets filled. This is the old, just the old tasty two and a half -er. So most of our fish have been this nice, beautiful size right here. We've got a five. And uh, hopefully we're gonna just have a nice little satchel of those by the end of this program. But uh, I just figured out a little something there. Had to had to really slow down. So they're not quite as jazzed as. Um, yeah, that might have been correlation with our no bites when we started, as we were both yeah. like just reeling real fast. Now we got a few bites under our belt. We can okay. settle in. Oh my gosh, dude, just absolutely Big hammered. End. Good. And Big end. Good. And just got to slow down with it. Mm. Not a big, just one of them juicies. Mm. You know? I'm not mad about one. No? Three and a half pounder. I don't like it. Mm. Thick. Just thick boy. Oh, oh gosh. Nap me. <laughs> <laughs> Something's happening right here, yeah. my friend. They seem to like these little, little points. There we go. Working on some good stuff here, guys. Working on some tasty treats. <laughs> oh, I know my boy Trey is just uh, very excited about life right now. I just keep slower on this thing. I love it. Oh my gosh. They're here. <laughs> little... All right, guys, I'm going to switch it up here to this is one of my favorite baits right here. This owner flashy swimmer, quarter ounce. I've been throwing a three eighths. And I put that saucy swimmer on there. Dye the tail chartreuse. I always do that when I'm in South Texas. I love to do it other places as well, but it just seems like. Anywhere you're, you got tilapia, you got to do it. Just got to do it. Um, we've been getting our bites while it's really slow. Trey just caught another one. We've had a few on this point. And the key is to just slow down here. So I'm going to take this 3 8 off. I've gotten bites on it. I might put it back on when it gets a little windier. But when we're less than five foot and we got grass, this is the program. And uh, throwing this on 20 pound line, 20 pound fluoro. And this is our muscle rod. So six or seven six heavy. Giving them the business. Question for the viewers. If we were hypothetically gonna make yeah? a belly weighted <laughs> hook with a blade on it, with a tungsten belly weight, what would you call it? That is, that is a question for the viewers. That is a good question. Uh, what would you call let us know in the, the comments. Gugan version of a or just belly weighted swim bait hook with a blade on it. Mm. I love naming things. It's, it's part of the, it, that's it, like one of the most fun things yes, in the job. It is. The belly buster. The belly buster. That's a good one. A little mid-morning update. It's going good, y'all. The wind is kicking up now, but we're prepared for it mentally. And uh, I think we're going to try to fish in this creek arm as long as we can till the wind gets too bad. If you're unaware with South Texas wildlife, giant alligators, shocking. But we have sh just giant alligators. There's hogs galore. There's a uh, you know, good, good little herd right there on the bank. That's what, actually what those alligators 
munch on and get so big and just the deer is insane it's crazy it's crazy down here we have a bad bad pig problem though in texas yeah uh, trey you actually asked the game board before we came down you were like you know what's the program on can we shoot them from the boat, shoot them from the boat? and that's a no apologize for the wind noise so uh, we just rolled back to this kind of more main lake area here we're gonna fight this wind but um, this is where that five pounder came I've got a little half ounce barrel weight cylinder weight and um, got a little trench hog literally a little trench hog just gonna see if we can pick out a few more fish here we got got popped like eight times in this area and there's definitely some fish just looks like they're moving in here feeding in here probably more to come so just gonna slow down here see if we can get a few bites slow dirty right in the wheelhouse i might be getting one right now i think i am yeah got him got him boss oh yeah Oh yeah. Got here, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh good in there. Good. Yeah, just did a little camera adjustment, lost the fish. Happens. It happens sometimes. Okay. No, it's not a timing thing. That's a better one too. Yep. Ah, we're back on the fish. <laughs> Gordito. Gordos. Brandon, if you're watching this, I'm sorry we're not saving these for next weekend. <laughs> oh man. I had that fish for a minute. Carolina, second one. That's a healthy one. Yeah, get that little trench in the trenches in there. Let's check out the body. Looks a hair beat up, baby. Still a chunky butt. They're getting up there around three pounds. All right. See you later, my friend. So we were just kind of wondering what is going on here with this, these fish. We got to get a bite in like an hour. And one, it was location. It's it's weird that they weren't stacked farther back in that that creek arm. This is a little spot that is reloading, I think. And just a there's a wave coming in here to spawn right now. So this little jut comes off of it. It's like a little T section in the oh, middle. Oh God! Just kind of. Oh yeah. Yeah. There you go, Bob. Oh, just a just one of them hard fighters. Oh yeah, I'd love to see it. Love to see it, bud. Man. How often would you be here if it wasn't five and a half hours away? <laughs> I've always loved this place. Every time I've come here it's been a pretty good experience, you know. Love love how yellow these guys get, you know. It's crazy is that even though it's like chock full of grass, they don't like have that grass fish look. They've got that South Texas fish look. Oh, oh, broke off. Are you broke off? Are you serious? God, what was that? I don't know. I don't know. Like just three times too. Like just three times. What was going on there, Carolina Riggins? I don't know, Buck. <laughs> Something large? Something large got me. My line may or may not be like eight months old. So okay, all right. Might be a reasonable night, buddy. Oh my gosh! That's the one you lost? That was on the bank. Yeah. I saw something fly out of the mouth. Yeah, that was a big one there. <laughs> lost the bag. We've uh, drifted on down the bank, you know, a couple hundred yards, and we've had a few bites on our on our spinners and uh, 
or swimmers, but not latching on. It seemed like the first couple little pockets we pulled up in were, were going down, and, and we were thinking it was going to get better and better as we come into the back of the pockets. So that's normally like a little smaller fish, but just more action, hotter action. Uh, fish will always go to the back of the pocket first to start spawning. That's what warms up first. But it's slowing down. We, and, uh, we're trying to battle their uh, this freeze killed off a lot of the grass right on the bank. So there's a little sweet spot that we, we just need to find. But I'm going to take a good proper break here and just kind of reevaluate. I'm going to tie a couple other things on. Um, I'm also going to eat a pepperoni kolache. You know, I always stop when I tr travel down 35. I go to the check stop. Not a sponsor. Just, just, just do yourself a favor, though. Stop in there. Get yourself something from the check stop, man. Definitely not OSG approved, but I'm going to tell you. That's going to give me the calories I need to get through this little windy grinder that we got. We've already had a really good morning. That little flurry's worn off, though. Now it's time to dig in. Okay, here we go. Back in the game. Switching things up over here. Going with a crack and craw. And my all time favorite color, natural. Little natural. And you know, Trey's getting quite a few bites on a little, little swimmy worm. And uh, I'm kind of thinking this little craw doing the same thing. Yep. Just got bing bonged. Bing bonged. Oh gosh, Megan. I mean, just a blistering missile here. Not big, but when it when it first hit, dude. Made a ruckus. Put that 25 on her and just said, mm. give it to him. Daddy. Crack and crawl, y'all. Swimming it. Just kind of popping it. And it just got annihilated down there by that fish. Pretty fish. Ooh, they got sharp teeth. Kind of bit my nose right there. I'll let you go. Fun times. One more jump ski. Come on. No, not gonna do it. The fish have actually got bigger since we've come back here in an hour. And Trey lost one that was uh, four and a half, five pounds. Uh, the one up there. Oh, that one I broke off. Was yeah, the one you broke off yeah, was. Big. Yeah, that was. So, uh, gonna keep grinding on the spot. Why not? That fish bit my nose, didn't it? It did. You're bleeding. Bleed. <laughs> it did. You're bleeding. <laughs> you have been bled. I have been bitten. Late April, or early May. It was like a post spawn top water bite. Yeah. And it was very. Oh my gosh. Trying to catch up. Sally, where you at? Begging. Begging. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my. Oh. That's one of them. Dude, same area around that little grass pod. Just crack and crawl. Madness. Look at the forehead on this little dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of scary, dude. I think I put the hammer down a little bit more, but I'm kind of enjoying this. Oh, goodness. Him here. I, I know. I think it's a six. At least. Try not to kneel on a contender. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bigger than a six. That's a that's a big boy. <laughs> that's a big boy. Yeah. Oh, that fish was not coming off either. That's a For that hook job. Seven and a half. I'll give her a second. Yep. Grab the scale real quick. I'm pretty excited. I, I would say this is the biggest bass of the year for me, but it's actually not. There was a video coming where we filmed on the Google Squad channel, and uh, it was one of the best days like overall as a group I think we've ever had. This is 
it's probably the second biggest. So, I think it's a seven pounder. Yeah, there's no way. That thing is saying it's 11. What the hell is that all <laughs> I love this scale. <laughs> no, I didn't, I did zero it right. Hang on, this is not an 11 pounder. It was literally just ounces and it was like 111 or something like that. Stay in put. I'm saying same. Seven. Two. Right. Yeah. Seven, seven pounds, two ounces. So, not a bad fish. Um, I thought it was going to be a little higher sevens, but it's still a really awesome fish. Great, fantastic profile. Look at that big girl. Oh, I love you so much. Goodbye, darling. We'll see you another day. Be a 10. A little tickle. Goodbye. You got one on? I had left my cast out there. You had you had one just soaking? Uh-huh. Leechy mouth. They all have those leeches in their mouth. It's crazy. Leechers. I think that's 22 bass. Off of this little point? Yeah. Yeah, plus couple that we lost, a couple that we broke off, I broke off, I won't yeah. drag okay. you into my mess. But. I want to say like that one that you, you that we saw that spit after was yeah. like a seven. Yes. Um, the other one, who knows? Landed a five. We've had some fours. Had a couple pull off that were fours, yeah. you know. We're, uh, you know, we're getting up there, you know, looking at that 25 pound sack of roux. I'll be enough, here. I haven't broken any off since I took off my eight month old line and replaced it with <laughs> Guggen Squad 20 pound fluorocarbon. So um it's yeah. weird how that works. We're in the land of break offs just happen. It's yeah. part of life. But we're do we're doing some gear testing out here. That's part of the program. Uh Trey's got a lot of stuff he's working on and we're trying a few things and I just think it's really cool that me and Trey after well gosh on our young 20s, I, was, I mean, we're looking at over a decade ago, a couple dudes thinking like, how can we, how can we work in this industry? You know, how can we, how can we make it now? Have one? And now we're doing it. Lucky George for doing it today. I historically shine as an angler during George season. That's like, once it's warmer up to where it's yours, I can catch it. <laughs> I looked up and my, my uh, lime was just getting heavy. It was like something just swimming off with it. Really started looking at a lot of trees when I come up on them with live scope and just see. That's 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 been a big game changer for uh, fishing for me with the live scope is identifying is that tree even worth flipping into before you uh, just start spending all your time. Maybe you just see a couple in the trees and you know, okay, well, you know, I'll I'll spend an hour in here flipping because I've seen some fish suspended on these trees or at the base of the trees or something so live scope changing the game rigging this up very much easy four aught hammer hook you can use a EWG or something too that first segment of the bait that's where you come back through your hook and then you take it and you go all the way up through the plastic and your hook is exposed like that, and then you just tuck, tuck it in. And that's it. Yes, yeah, sir. Honor. Just half, half spice. Everything down here is hard. Yeah, there's this, like. Permanently something down here that wants to bite you. Like scorpions, snakes, gators, leeches, fire ants, tarantulas, all kinds of creatures. Snakes. 
creepy crawlers. Oh no, little guy. Had you. Had me fooled pulling the drag there, eh, bud? Just an absolute health specimen out here, y'all. Kind of switching up a little bit. Was swimming the craw, now we're, we went to like stroking it, and now we're doing a little uh, like more tactical, really pitching. We're figuring out these fish are settling in on beds. Females could come up any time. They may, may not be today, maybe this afternoon. We don't know. It could be tomorrow thing, we don't know. It's definitely worth checking out every little shallow stump because at some moment they're going to come in here pretty soon. Okay, these gators are just in full spawn mode. Those are some big lizards. Yikes. Oh my. Oh my god. That one jolted my whole body. Wow. A little stump action. Think one's bed in there? Maybe. There, there it is. Got him. I think so. Where's that old female? She's here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so the reason I asked, I wonder if that one spawned because the way it hit it, it, it attacked it hard, then it just swam off. Like it was trying to move the bait. And a lot of times that's that's them. You can kind of tell in the spring, shallow cover, what's going on. Can you give me those pliers down here, my bud? You see that fish is torn up too. But uh, they like to spawn on these trees sometimes, these root systems. And... Um, you know, that fish hit it as soon as I threw it right back in there. So, here we go. Another crack and crawl. Bass. One of the mini. Snag, snag, snag. Good. Snag good. He's posting up. Yeah, he's just like... Aggressive. Yeah. Like, this is my uh, alligator right there. Dirt. Excuse me there, bud. You got any more weights? Uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Begging! Oh, just a tasty. Up on the back side of that tree. Just a chunk. Chunk. Look at that. Oh, look, it's got a tail in his mouth. Hmm, what is that? What's in there? It's like a shad. Let's see. Shad tail, maybe? Is that a shad or a tilapia? What do you think? Let's find out. Actually, you know what? Let's let him digest that thing. Yeah, I don't want to take that out. I mean, that would be terrible. See him. See you guys. You know? Enjoying a nice juicy cheeseburger, someone snatches that out of your mouth. I would be furious. By the way, Trey, you've been around the globe. You're a Texan. Mm -hmm. In and out or Whataburger? It's, I mean, it's not even really a conversation. Whataburger wipes the floor with In and Out in every form or fashion. One time I walked into a In and Out in uh, Southern California and I asked for bacon on my burger and they don't have it. They don't have bacon? I don't think at the time that they had bacon. Like it wasn't even a menu item to add to a burger. Um, which That's to me what... is concerning. Yeah. At the very least. Butter down, just go across the cove. Okay y'all, we've, uh, we've picked off even more fish hmm. on this, this little side. We're gonna try to tuck in and some other areas and uh, see if we can get some more bites. Seems like these male bass are coming in, making their beds as we speak on this shallow timber, and the females aren't, aren't far behind. They're just on those little little grass lines that we're seeing um, on little points, little lead-in areas going up into the flats. It's time to fish. Uh, we're, fi we're basically just fishing all day in these videos. These next few videos uh, here, it's just like an all-day documentation. That's what we're doing. Um, trying to show you the little thing, the, the tr little transitions, the changes that are going on while we're making the decisions. Wind is a huge factor today. That's part of the reason we're over here on this uh, this shoreline now. Is uh, it is the end of the lake where 
And once the southern end of the lake, we have a southern wind and we're gonna be able to, to fish that just a lot more effectively. me off guard a little bit more um, a little bit more beef on the bone there <laughs> these all day these nice little two and a half nails that's not happening no I did I did get him wow wow that was impressive <laughs> muscle Muscle! Hashtag muscle fish. Getting better. Yeah, a little, ooh, a little boat knocker. Man, you know, I didn't think I was going to get that fish in. The fish came out towards us, and I'd thrown around the other side and gave him the old 25 pound test Guggen Squad Fluoro on that muscle. And uh, look at that leech mouth. Ooh. Can't say we're gonna break out the flay knife on these babies. Not tempting. Pretty good, nice three and a halfy, tasty fish. Just decided like it's it's time to go in. The legs, roasted, rough, lobster. Mine, absolutely terrible. I'm gonna be feeling that in the morning. Good day. Twenty. What did we say? Twenty. Ah, uh, we caught over. 30. 30 pounds oh no 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 no, no, no. i mean oh pound 25 ish that's a you know a little fisherman add a little add a little take a little we had the bites for like 27 yeah. 28 definitely did definitely did but anyway really good day out here guys and texas rigging was key uh started out they wanted it swimmy so if you got a lake near you they're moving up in these pockets they wanted it swimmy you don't always have to work it real slow but later in the afternoon midday they wanted it slow so we gave it to them and we popped them shout out to mark fellow fishing freak right there south texas fishing freak let's just have ourselves a gander at the old tow vehicle over here uh that we brought down no this is this is not my new truck kind of wish it was maybe i'm testing things out here but this is the 2021 uh, Chevy Silverado 2500 Carhartt Edish, and it is a bad boy. It's a bad boy. It's got that uh, that LP in there. And got the Allison transmission, and it's got a it's got a Carhartt Edition badging and all that. And this is the only one that you can get this nice like little two tone uh, package in this color is with that with that Carhartt Edish. So. So why do I have this thing and I'm not in my adventure wagon? Uh, well, someone reached out to me to just borrow the truck. They're like, hey, do you want to borrow the truck? And I was like, yes, I do. I want to see what a 2500 pulls like. I've never towed with one and um, I've, got a, I've got another vehicle, adventure vehicle coming that is much heavier than the boat. And I'm wondering if my truck that I have right now will pull it so it's a perfect opportunity uh, I'm getting this thing in like a month and I want to make sure that I can pull it with my truck hopefully but if I can't I'm gonna have to trade in an upgrade to like a 2500 or something something that can really pull this is where I'm gonna leave you today fish and freaks got a battle scar bloody nose from sniffing a good old South Texas bass love to see it and we're gonna get back at it tomorrow and grind again so 
Subscribe so you don't miss the next few videos. Trey, hey, did you have fun today? I had a blast today. Yeah, we ran into like the best guide on this lake, Charles White, in this morning, and he was yeah. like, he's like, yeah, he's like, if there was a tournament here this weekend, somebody would catch a share bunker. Yeah, like I mean, it's, it's he kinda... said there would be a 13 caught. Ready to do it again. Ready to do it again tomorrow. So, thank you all for tuning in. Better smash that like button for just crushing bass, and I'm gonna try to bring some more tips your way as we uh, as we go about the Mondo Quest down here in South Texas. Stay tuned. Hurry-ha. We'll see you next time.